everyone, I'm starting a vlog today because I figured why not? I don't have a lot going on and I wanted to talk to you. So here I am. But I thought I'd give you a little reading update because I've been getting back into my reading, which is great. And the book that I'm reading right now is Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. This is my second Lauren Asher book that I've read. The first one I read by her was Throttled. Um, and I didn't love it, but so far with this, really quite enjoying it. It's a chunky book. It's over 600 pages, but I think, what am I at? What am I up to? I'm up to page 176. So it's going good. I started it yesterday, so I feel like I got through a good chunk of it and I'm really quite enjoying it. And this series is called Lakefront Billionaires, which you know I love a little billionaire storyline because it's like so out of the ordinary. It's crazy, but really enjoying this so far they're on their way to hawaii so i quite like when in books they travel as well because i like to see all the destinations they go to so be quite fun seeing hawaii in this book but as for today not too much is going on i was going to film another video of reorganizing my bookshelf but i don't really know if i want to do that today so we'll see but it is 11 14 right now I am starving. I didn't have breakfast because, I don't know, I forgot. And I would have breakfast now, but it's nearly lunchtime. And I'm planning on going to Thai with my parents. We're going to get a little lunchtime special we love. And I'm actually so excited. I haven't had Thai in ages. I'm ready to go. I've got my outfit on. I've just got like a little colourful jumper and some jeans. And then I'm just going to put on some like white shoes. But speaking of shoes, I did get some... Adidas shoes. Let me get them for you because I need to talk about them because I'm confused of what to do with them. I've just put the tripod on the camera because I want to put you on the end of my bed, but I'm struggling. Is that going to stay? Don't fall. There we go. Could be a bit wonky, but is that okay? Good enough for me. Okay, here are my shoes that I got. I got these Adidas. Look, I don't know how you say the, the style of shoe this is. It's that's what it looks like. It's special. I don't know if that's how you'd say it. It's special with a Z. The C is replaced by a Z. Special? Special? I don't know. But I got the navy blue and light blue colour combo. And I like them. And I've been wanting them for a while. I was originally going to get green. But I couldn't find the green anywhere. So I did end up getting the blue. Because that was like my second favourite option. But... I just don't know like what do you wear with it because I tried on some outfits and then I looked down at my feet and I'm like oh because I just don't usually wear dark shoes and I don't know if that's what's throwing me off like I look down and I'm like why have I got dark shoes on it kind of feels like I'm wearing bowling shoes I don't know so if you have these shoes like let me know what kind of outfits you wear with them because I'm worried like I'll only get to wear them on certain occasions when I'm just wearing like denim shoes and a plain shirt because I feel like the only color options really is like either that light blue or a navy blue or white like can you wear navy blue with black like I was having this conversation with my friends before and they were like yeah of course you can but my mum's always said you don't mix navy blue and black so I really don't know what to do like do they go with this jean color I guess they do but they wouldn't go with this jumper would they like, I wouldn't wear them today. I've still got the tags on because I haven't decided if I'm going to return them or not yet. Also, I don't know if they're super comfortable. Like, obviously, I tried them on and they're fine for, like, the first couple of minutes. But then because they've got, like, this arch support thing, I don't know if I've just got flat feet. I'm not too sure. I don't think I have flat feet. I thought I had quite high arches. But the arch support thing is so firm, it actually kind of hurts after a while. Um... I don't know what to think. I think I just need to try them on more and try find some outfit ideas. I don't really know. Like, they're really expensive too. So I'm just like, do I return them? Because I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear them all the time, but I do really like them. I don't know. So please let me know what you would wear because I'm struggling. Like, I, I think I found, like, four different outfits that I could wear. Also, um, I did try on an outfit where I wore, like, denim jeans, like, this colour, these shoes, and a red jumper. That was nice. I liked that. So, I think, yeah, red can also go. But other than that, like, what other colours would you wear? Pink? I don't know. So, please let me know. But that's my little shoe talk and my reading update. 
I, it's 11.20 now, I've been talking for six minutes. I need food, I'm actually starving. I'm gonna put my socks on and my shoes on and then hopefully go to time, but they're probably not gonna be open till midday. <laughs> I'm starving. It's actually kind of cold, like it's freezy. I know it's only the first month of winter, but I feel like it's getting too cold. Also, I'm going to Tasmania soon, so that's going to be absolutely freezing. I'm really kind of worried, but I should probably start thinking about outfits and stuff that I'm going to take there because I will need to know. Also, that's another thing. Like, I don't know how often you can wear these shoes because obviously they're suede, so you don't want to wear them when it's raining or anything. But how do, can you predict the rain? Obviously, you can check the weather app, but sometimes it just rains. So, like... I guess you can only wear them in summer, but it feels like a winter shoe. But it also rains in summer. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm gonna go, hopefully, to get Thai. See ya! I've since returned from lunch. I forgot to take any photos of what I had for lunch because I was that hungry as soon as it was on the table I was eating it. Um, so here, I'll put in a random picture from the internet. I had Pad Siu. It was absolutely delicious, as always. So good. But it's like nearly two o'clock now. 153. I am probably going to go to the shops with my mum. It is Thursday, so it's late night shopping. Um, don't actually need anything, but I always like to look at the shops. Um, also, I have taken to TikTok with the shoes to ask for outfit ideas because I still have been thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know. Also, though, if you're not already following me on TikTok, you so should. This is my username on TikTok. So go follow that. Um, I have not read any more of Love Unwritten. And I'll probably do that after I get back from the shops. But I also have other stuff that I need to do. I really need to clean both my room and my bathroom. Um, and I'm probably not going to do a little montage of that. Just because I feel like then it will waste my time and I'll get distracted. So maybe I should do that first and then go to the shops. Or maybe I'll go to the shops and then when I come home I am going to be a cleaning machine and I'm not going to talk to you again until I'm done. So that 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 will hopefully um, motivate me. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Unless I buy anything from the shops, that'll probably be all I have to say today. Um, because I won't have any updates on the book or anything. But I will see you tomorrow morning because I'm going to the city with my friend. We're going to go look at some vintage shops and antique shops. And we're going to hopefully get bagels. For a little brunch snack. I've been wanting bagels for so long. I, I nearly made bagels the other day, but we ran out of flour, so I didn't make bagels. I haven't made bagels in a long time. I made them once. And I don't remember them turning out the best because I tried to make like gluten-free bagels or something. I don't know. And it didn't it wasn't great. So I was gonna make like normal bagels. It didn't have flour, so I obviously didn't do that. But I'm just gonna get bagels tomorrow because like I really want a bagel and I haven't had one in years. So hopefully I can get bagels tomorrow. You will soon see, and so will I. Hello everyone. It is the next morning. I'm about to go meet my friend at the train station. Here's my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a gray jumper and some jeans. And I'm gonna wear my white shoes. Also thinking about returning these because I just had a big think about it. I like the way they look. They're just not super comfortable. And I need shoes to be comfortable, otherwise I will complain every single time I wear them. But here is my bag I'm taking. It's going to be big enough to fit in my water bottle because I will always travel with a water bottle if it will fit in my bag. So I'm going to get my water ready and then I have to go meet my friend. Yay, let's go. I'm back from the city. It's like I never left. I swear every time I film a vlog I'm literally just sitting in my room. Sorry about that, but I, I did get my bagel, which I was so excited about. I'll put a picture in here. It's so delicious. I ended up getting a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. Quite nice. I still have the other half in the fridge now because I couldn't finish it all. But then we also got lunch as well. And I got a pizza, which is delicious as always from Oddie's. And um, I went to the antique shop because obviously that was like the main goal of the day. I was going to film in there like I actually was. I know that sounds like I'm just saying that, but I was planning on filming in there and showing you around and 
like looking at all the fun things but they're playing music in there so it's not like I could talk anyway so I have filmed like little clips or whatever that I'm gonna put together for a TikTok so again if you're not following me on my TikTok you so should so you can see some of the fun things that was there but I did buy some things it's all wrapped up so I'm going to unwrap it now and I'm really excited about it because I've been wanting to collect these books their books for the longest time let me just try and I need to try and put you down so that I can show you because I'm so excited about it having problems I've got one of those like bendy tripods that's supposed to like grip around things okay yay I think that's gonna work okay so I got some penguin cloth bound classics and I've been wanting to collect these because I do only have one at the moment but now I've got three more to add to the collection the one I have is the picture of the the picture of the Dorian Gray the picture of Dorian Gray and I really just like how they look all together so I slowly want to start collecting these so I did get three different Charles Dickens ones first we have a Christmas Carol and other writings oh and other Christmas writings and it's just got little snowflake design on it super cute um, and each of these books were $24 for like each one which was really good because if you buy these new like at bookshops so usually like 30 to 35 dollars something like that so then i was like i need to get all these so i did just spend 72 dollars on books today that i probably won't read for a while because i'm not really a classics reader but it was a steal so i had to get them next hard times i really like this cover i don't know anything about this book i mean i've never really heard of it but very cute and I do love green so this would be nice to display and then the last one is A Tale of Two Cities which is on the chunkier side but I'm excited for it heard good things about this book so looking forward to it but those are my books um, there were some like really nice things at that antique shop as well but I don't know if it was like overpriced or if that's like the going rate for antique things but like some of the things were like really expensive i don't have my phone on me right now so i can't remember what i took photos of but like there was this lamp which my mum said was kind of ugly and now looking back probably kind of is but i was looking for a smaller version of this lamp last year like i don't know if you saw my um christmas wish list video idea thing whatever that had a lamp similar to this in the home decor section but it was a much smaller version of this so i think it looked a bit nicer but this was like really large i don't even know where you'd put it um but it's cute but it was expensive it was like nearly 500 dollars or something it was like 450 possibly but like i'd have nowhere to put it but it was cute i don't know and they also had like some nice lounges and tables and, and drawers and stuff so i really liked it when i have a house i'm gonna be decorating but yes those are my books that i got i'm very excited about it um but other than that that was my little city day out i think it's like three o'clock now i'm so exhausted and i don't know why i mean obviously like we walked around the city but not not a whole lot either like i, I looked at my phone and i've only done like 6,400 steps which I was surprised because we I felt like we walked forever but I think it's just like the, the waking up early not even it was it wasn't that early it was like 7 30 and I was also planning on um reorganizing my bookshelf I don't know what I want to do that because I do want to have that video ready for when I'm in Tasmania so I have something to post so I might have to do that sometime in the weekend but otherwise that's probably it I feel like this wasn't really much of a vlog because the whole time I've just been sitting in my room chatting to you about what I want to do or what I have done. Um, so maybe I shouldn't call it a vlog and I should just call it a sit and chat. A little sit and chat. I don't know. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the sit and chat. Um, that's probably all I'm going to really talk about today because obviously not too much else going on i'm probably just going to have a little nap and read my book for the rest of the day and weekend probably so yay hope you enjoyed the sit and chat in the little book haul also i have decided i'm getting rid of the shoes so 
Yay. Gonna get that money back. <laughs> but that's all for today. Thanks again for watching. And if you did enjoy the little sit and chat, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I do post new videos every single week. They're not always a sit and chat, which I feel is kind of boring. I'm sorry. I do want to get better at vlogging and I will. When I go to Tasmania, I plan on vlogging again. I will try my best. I just get a bit nervous and then I feel really awkward, but like, I'll do it. I promise. I'm going to do it in Tasmania and then I'm going on another trip with my friends later. We're going to Queensland, so hopefully I will do some real vlogging and not just a sit and chat. But anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.